Lisa and Samantha, and I work for the Springwater Public Library. And welcome to story time. So today we're supposed to talk about going to the beach because it's almost May, which means it's almost summer and the sunshine is supposed to be here. So we're gonna do a little bit of beach, but we're also gonna do a little bit of kind of like under the sea animal sort of thing because it doesn't really feel like a day to go to the beach. So we're just gonna have fun today. So everyone sit back and relax and welcome to story time. So the first song that we're gonna do today is Open and Shut Them. Open and shut them, open and shut them, give them a big clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them, open and shut them, put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, slowly creep them right up to your chin. Open wide, but do not let them in. We are also going to do Roly Poly because it is one of my favorite songs and I think it's one of your favorite songs and when we used to do story time in person Everybody loved Roly Poly. So we're gonna get our hands ready make them into fists and Roly Poly Roly Poly up 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 Roly Roly Poly Roly Roly Poly down down down, 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 roly poly, roly poly, out, 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 roly roly poly, roly roly poly, in, 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 roly poly, roly poly. Are you ready? Fast, 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 fast. Rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly, slow, 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 slow. So we're going to do a song. Maybe it's not a song. Maybe it's a rhyme about five little ocean friends. So let's get our five little ocean friends ready. It says five little ocean friends on the ocean floor. The starfish walks away, and now there are one, two, three, four. Four little ocean friends living in the sea. The crab slides away, and now there are one, two, three. Three little ocean friends looking for a clue. Glub, glub, said the lobster, and now there are one, two. Two little ocean friends not having much fun. Off swam the seahorse and now there is one. One little octopus sad and all alone. Back swims the starfish, back swims the crab, back swims the lobster, back swims the seahorse. And they all played in the sea foam, safe in their home. So the next song that we're gonna sing is about fish because sometimes when you're swimming at the beach, you'll see a little fish swim by. So we're gonna get our hands together and make a little fish motion, kind of like this. You know how fish swim back and forth, back and forth. So we're gonna go, you ready? One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. Two little green fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little green fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. Let's do one more. Three little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little blue fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. The book that I'm gonna read today is called Not Quite Narwhal. And I'm able to read this book online and out loud because Simon & Schuster Publishing House has allowed librarians such as myself to read their books online. So thank you, Simon & Schuster. Let's sit back and read this adorable book about narwhals and unicorns and going to the beach. Not quite narwhal. Kelp was born deep in the ocean. Oh, look how cute he is. 
He knew early on that he was different from the other narwhals. His task wasn't as long as everyone else's. He had different tastes in food. And he wasn't a very good swimmer. But his friends didn't seem to mind, so Kelp decided he wouldn't either. That is, until he was swept away by a strong current. I wish I were a better swimmer. Kelp found himself at the surface, closer to land than he'd ever been before. High up on a cliff, he spotted a mysterious sparkling creature. It looked so familiar. It looked like Kelp. Kelp swam toward land as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that he could catch up with the creature that looked just like him. When he finally reached the shore, Kelp felt a little bit anxious. He had never left the ocean. He was nervous about walking for the first time, but the land creatures made it look so easy. Oof, it wasn't. No. But eventually he got the hang of it. Everything on land was strange and beautiful, but also kind of scary. Kelp began to think he might never find the creature that looked just like him. But as he stumbled out of the forest, <gasps> land narwhals! Well, actually, we're unicorns, and by the looks of it, so are you. Kelp had never heard of unicorns before. They taught him all sorts of new things about his tusk. We call them horns. Wow. They introduced him to unicorn delicacies. And they showed him how to gallop. There was no doubt that Kelp was, in fact, a unicorn. He was having so much fun that he didn't want to leave. But then he remembered all of his friends under the sea. Kelp missed them terribly. So... He said goodbye to the unicorns and returned to the ocean. Come back soon. Kelp swam towards home as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that the narwhals would still like him now that he was a unicorn. When he finally arrived, Kelp had butterflies in his stomach. Welcome home. Hey, Kelp. Kelp took a deep breath and told his friends the news. Turns out, I'm not a narwhal. Of course you aren't. I'm a unicorn. We all knew that. They took it quite well. Kelp was happy to be home, but now that he'd experienced life on land with the unicorns, he couldn't seem to forget them. Did he want to be a land narwhal with the unicorns or a sea unicorn with the narwhals? Kelp couldn't decide, but then he realized that maybe, just maybe, He didn't have to choose. There he is. I'm a unicorn. Um, and that's it, my friends. That's the end of our story time. Thank you for joining me on this very gray day, this very unbeach like day. But you know what? Talking about the beach made me think of all the good things to come. Made me think of all the warmer weather and all the fun I'm going to have really, really soon. You know what? Talking about the beach made me happy. And being here with you made me happy. And if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray Great story time, everyone. I am so happy that you are here with me today and that we could talk about all the wonderful things to come. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you next week. Bye.
Bye.